Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I am a reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And today's video is something that I am super excited to film. It's definitely been a hot minute since I have filmed a bins haul, but here I am. I have a bunch of stuff that I've thrifted probably over the last month. So a lot of this stuff is in various stages of the inventory process. Some of it's been listed, some of it's been photographed, some of it is maybe waiting for a stain treatment or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do my best to show everything quickly, efficiently. Um, I have written down some comps on some of the items. Um, so if you see me like looking at papers and stuff, that's what I'm doing. Um, I think you guys really liked my last bins haul where I was able to give a little bit more information about the pieces um, rather than just than like showing and like moving on. So, right, so all of this stuff is from the Goodwill Bins. Uh, the Goodwill Bins, if you've never been, um, it's basically like one of the last stops for clothing before it's either shipped to another country overseas or goes to the landfill. Um, so all of this stuff you pay by the pound, which makes it very, very cheap. Every single item here probably has a cost of goods of anywhere from a dollar to two dollars. Uh, what I generally do is I take my total and divide it by the number of items that I have. So if I buy 50 items for $50, everything will be a dollar, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just like go for it. Uh, uh, this is a Victoria's Secret Sport uh, one of their high impact sports bras. I really like this one. I was really drawn to it in the bins because it is like the super bright neon color. And this guy looks practically brand new. There is no signs of wear on here at all. It is a 36 double D. So when I was looking at comps for this one, where is it? Yeah, so comps for this one were actually higher than a lot of the other Victoria's Secret bras that I've picked up. Um, a lot of them were listed 30 to 35. Realistically, I think I could get 25 for this one and may list it closer to 30 to 35. But generally what I do is I send off like 20 to 30% off offers regularly. So realistically, let's say 25. Um, this next one, I was so happy to see this one. This is a J. Jill size extra large. I love J. Jill. <laughs> um, this like cream knit sweater. It's got a nice v-neck. Um, I will say there are a fair few amount of sweaters in here. Uh, just my last couple times at the bins, I feel like everybody is really avoiding sweaters. I really personally don't have a problem with picking up sweaters, even though we are moving into summertime. I will say that my standards for like what I'm picking up a uh, sweater wise um, have gone up because we are moving out of sweater season, but I'm not going to leave anything behind um, if it was really worth the money, if that makes sense, if it's worth um, picking up. Uh, so J. Jill, extra large. Um, this one, I am expecting maybe 30 to 35 on this one. I feel like it's a pretty substantial piece from J. Jill. It's an extra large, nice creamy knit. Um, it's got the ribs, I believe. Let me see. Um, it's a cotton blend, so 57% of cotton, cotton, the rest of it is like acrylic, polyester, nylon, spandex. Um, but yeah, super soft. I'm really happy with this one. Um, I wouldn't say that it's like new. I wouldn't list it as like new tags or anything, but it does still have the little like tag Barbie on here. Um, so cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. Next up here is another one. Um, this is a Madewell plaid oversized shacket. It's a size small. Now my, uh, my standards for Madewell have definitely gone up quite a bit. I definitely don't pick up every piece that I find. Um, but something like this, you know, the shackets are always, um, I always have really good luck with like the shackets, things that are oversized, the plaid, this is like super soft as well. Um, so I was happy to pick this up. Realistically, I would probably get 20 to 25 for it. Um, I probably wouldn't expect much more than that, but yeah, I think Madewell now is just becoming really saturated. There's so many pieces for Madewell just like everywhere. So, um, yeah. All right, next up is Cabbie. This is a really cute uh, cheetah print blouse. This one's not super substantial. There could be more substantial pieces from Cabbie that I would prefer, but it's nice. It's got a little tie, like a knot here at the front sleeveless top. It's like a nice thick cotton. This is a size extra, extra large. Um, I think for this one, this one probably won't go for that much. I'd say maybe 15 to $20. That's what the comps were looking at. 
but I'm happy. I, you know, I always really like listing cabbie stuff because they're they have a really clear style number on there. Like, so it's so easy to find all the information about the piece. So easy to find stock photos. So I'm always happy with um, with cabbie. But this next one, I saw this one from like a mile away, and I like ran over there. Uh, it's a soft surroundings size medium. I love things that are like this. Super colorful, super bright. It is a long sleeve i would say is it a tunic it may be a tunic maybe just like a high low hem but it has got this gorgeous embroidery all along the back and so when i looked at this one there were a couple of them that were listed for 40 ish like i think 35 to 40 dollars realistically i'm gonna say i can get 32 to 35 um maybe even more like 28 but i'll probably list it around that 32 35 mark um and see but super pretty i really like it um it's got like a really nice texture to it so i am happy with that guy this one is more of a style piece rather than a brand the brand is called cord cotton collection by easy wear it is a petite large but it's very oversized um this kind of muted purple ribbed shacket as well long sleeves um, i believe it's also a snap button down which i really love the snaps as well uh, but stuff like this um, keywords would be shacket layering oversized ribbed yeah so <laughs> i think it's definitely got a lot going for it um, i'm happy for this one i don't think i wrote down how much this one would go for I don't think so. I mean, honestly, I think because this one is more of a style pickup, I'll probably list it maybe 28, 20, 25, 28, um, and then evaluate from there. But this one, okay, so this one, I love stuff like this. So this is a mod cloth size large. I believe the brand, or the style is either called to the market or like farmer's market or something like that. But it is this sleeveless button front dress with all the little like fruit stands um at the bottom the fruits and vegetables so pretty honestly so this one is missing its belt i did look for a long time for the belt could not find it um but this one had a few comps going for about 30 to 35 so i'm confident that i could get this that amount for this dress i think if it had the belts they were going more like 45 but i'm happy with 30 35 um, actually with this dress I also found another mod cloth dress that sold a couple days ago it was the same sort of style but it had an like an airplane print on it I'll put a photo up I think it sold for $45 um, that one found with this one so I was like oh my gosh so many mod cloth pieces I really like mod cloth um, it sells really well for me um, same with this one J Jill I had another one earlier but this is a size large, 100% cotton, kind of like popover uh, top. Actually, it might be more of a tunic top. I think it's got, uh, maybe not quite tunic. These look like the three-fourth length sleeves. But I believe this is 100% cotton. And I actually found two of them right next to each other. One is blue. One is green. This like almost lime green color. Uh, these guys, honestly, if I could get 20 each, um, I would be really happy. May only get like 15 to 18, but especially now that we're moving into spring, 100% cotton, lightweight, kind of like the popover style is really popular. So yes, we're going to get those listed. I don't think those are listed yet, but I think they've been photographed. I can't really remember. Okay, so this one is... Yes, Cuddle Duds. So Cuddle Duds is a brand I have sold it a few times. I think once on Poshmark and I've sold a few of them on eBay. I don't know why, they just seem to do better on eBay for me. But this is a kind of gorgeous tie-dye, um, just like a dress. You know, it could be like a swim cover-up. It could just be like a casual house dress. Um, it does have pockets in the side, which is really nice. Um, but anything tie-dye, anything Cuddle Duds is really known for their like really comfortable um i have sold i think a few of their like layering long sleeves um but i've never found like more of like a, a one-off piece like this but yeah i'm happy with it um this one maybe 2025 i think that was where the comps were at 
um, but I'm happy to experiment. I may list it for like 28, but if I got like 20 bucks, like an offer for $20, I would totally take it. Um, this, all right, so this is Aerie. Um, I know a lot of people don't pick up Aerie, but I really love picking up Aerie. I think um, a lot of people really like it on Mercari. I think Mercari, I tend to think that Mercari is generally more like teenagers and teenagers really love Aerie. Um, so I picked up this, it is a sweater, um, kind of like a short sleeve sweater, but it has a really nice um, like speckled texture to it. You can see that. Here we go, like a little speckly texture. Um, yeah, this one, did I write down this one? I don't know if I did. No, I did not write this one down. Honestly, realistically, I'd say 20 to 25. It does look in really good condition. It is a size small, but it is very oversized. Um, so yeah, let's say 20 bucks. All right, so these next ones, I was so excited to find these. These are, well, this one here and the next one, Victoria's Secret Gold Label. I love selling gold label stuff. It seems that people just like search out this gold label. It's a vintage label from Victoria's Secret. Um, it is this super silky kind of button front, I guess you could say like almost like a nightgown, long sleeves, and just the colors on this is just so pretty. All these beautiful jewel tones. It does have these little buttons at the front that are like little beads with little gems in them probably just like plastic beads but i mean super pretty all a bunch of little details um this one does have a little wear in it uh some of the seams underneath the collar are starting to come apart just like the outer layer um it's still intact all the way through but this one i've seen stuff like this sell for like a huge range i mean i've seen them sell for 25 dollars. i've seen people list them and sell them for well over 100 dollars. so i think it really just depends on the patterns, the colors, um, you know, who, what kind of buyer, how do you price things. So honestly, I think I may price this one pretty high just because this color is just such a gorgeous color. So then with this one, I found another one right next to it. I was, I don't know, I don't know. I think I was just like over the moon when I saw this. So this one, the size tag has been cut off, but it's another gold label. It's a very similar or pretty much the same um, very similar style, the button front kind of dress. This one has shorter sleeves on it, um, but very similar, super bright, kind of colorful floral pattern. I think this one, it was missing one of the buttons, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so it is missing one of the buttons, but I'm not really worried about that too much with um, these vintage pieces. I think people will still love and appreciate them. Okay, I'm gonna move a little bit quicker. I feel like I'm going a little bit slowly. Um, this next item is Chico's. I really love selling Chico's. Probably one of my like more favorite um, like bread and butter brands to sell. Um, it's a Chico size two. It is this button down or button up long sleeve. And it has a really kind of lovely um, giraffe novelty print on it. Um, you know, this one, the one of the main reasons that I picked this one up is because of the the content, the, um, the fabric content. It's 71% silk, 27% linen, and 2% cotton. So you've got silk, the linen, the cotton. I feel like those are all um, really good factors with just any sort of top in general. So super happy with this. I feel like I could probably get like 28 to 32 for this one. Um, I did see a comp for 35. I'm not sure if this one will get... Quite as much as 35 but um, I'll probably list it around that $30 mark um, and then we'll send offers and see. All right Beans has joined us. <laughs> he was like not wanting to sit there anymore. Okay um are you gonna sit here or are you gonna go sit? Oh so sweet. Can you go sit on the bed? He's gonna sit with me for a few minutes. Okay so next up is another style piece. This is from Max Studio Weekend, not a brand that I typically pick up, um, but it is a size medium. I can like hear all sorts of noise going on outside. Um, it is this really cute kind of orange um, shift dress. Um, the reason I really picked this up is because it had really nice sleeves. Are you going back to their bed? He is arranging himself inside of his little bed. <laughs> but definitely more of a style piece. It is this really nice 
uh, I guess you could call it a shift dress and the reason I really picked this up is because it has these really cute butterfly sleeves and on these sleeves is a really nice kind of embroidered uh, detailing here um, it's kind of all across the front all across the sleeves so I really liked it um, could I get 2025 for it probably um, I'll probably list this you know it's super high quality as well it feels like a really good material I'll probably list it maybe in like the 28 to 32 mark um, and go from there this brand is something that's actually new to me I had never heard of this before um, I picked it up in the bin um, it felt like a really good material so I went ahead and looked it up the brand is called kill crew lovely brand name there uh, this is a size small a pair of green um, kind of like sweatpants joggers um, and then on the kind of like the knee area here it says kill and it says crew so just the brand name there uh, the back is plain um, these I was pleasantly surprised by it looked like most of the comps were going anywhere from 35 to 55 um, but I'm happy to get um, either 28 to 32 hopefully up to 35 on this one uh, that would be really awesome but yeah new brand to me uh, if you've ever sold this brand let me know in the comments below next is a kind of like a classic lululemon i believe it's called their swiftly tank just like a, a nice tank it's got the lululemon um logo here at the back this one is a size what size is this this one's a size eight so um i have seen so many mixed comps for this one um it seems like there is very saturated there is a lot of them out there um but generally I would say that I could probably get around 15 to 20. I have seen a few of them sold for like 30, 35 dollars. I just don't think that it will sell for that much uh, because there are so many listed. Um, but it's a nice color. It's got like a nice kind of like texture to it as well. So we'll see. Maybe I'll list it 25 um, and send some offers out and see if I could get sold around 20. But yeah it's just a very saturated so many lululemon styles are just so saturated now and the same with this one this is a we the free size extra small although it is very oversized um kind of this um distressed like light orange uh very boho top it's got little like layers here it's got that um kind of like raw edge seams that a lot of the we the free pieces do um this again uh this style you know i'll pick it up at the bins i probably would not have bought it at a regular thrift store uh, they just seem to be very saturated so if i got like 20 25 for this i would be super happy with that um, but i really would not expect much more bag number two let's get going okay so we have just a few things in this next bag i think i said at the beginning uh there are a decent amount of sweaters in this haul i am still picking up sweaters if i see them i'm not going to leave them behind if they're a good style or something that i feel like will sell well um but let's see the first thing i was super happy to find this um this is the brand it's called moth um which is sold at anthropology i will show you just there moth you can see that um, this is a very interesting sweater. It is this geometric kind of tinsel knit. Um, if you see, it's got all of this, I mean, really beautiful, uh, like rainbow tinsel glitter type of material. Um, these ones were actually going for a relatively high amount for this brand, for Moth. Um, I saw a lot of them listed from a 35 to 60, although a lot of them were selling from around 30 to 35. So I will probably list maybe the 35, 38 mark, um, just because it is um, not really sweater season. Uh, but I was super happy to find this. I think that it's in really great condition and it will still sell, even though we're not 100% in sweater weather right now. Um, this one, my camera will probably go all dark when I hold it up but it's an american eagle size extra extra large um white maybe slightly off white uh cream cable knit cropped sweater um this one is honestly if i had seen this in a thrift store i would not have picked this up um if it was in any worse condition besides basically brand new um that i would not have picked this up um this one does still have its um Little taggy here with its button in so although I'm probably not gonna list it as new I will say that it appears like new um, 
because I mean it does appear like new and it has a little tag inside um, this one I feel like realistically I could probably get 20 to 25 for this I'll probably list it around 28 um, but I feel like probably 2025 is my best bet the next one this one was also more of a style pickup it's just a boutique brand um, so nothing special uh, called LA soul um, I really love selling these kind of novelty print sweaters the same with like mod cloth uh, anything more novelty print this one is a lovely penguin print sweater um yeah i just thought this was a good pickup i feel like i could probably get 25 bucks for it um i did see there was a couple of uh comps one for 22 one for 24 so i think 25 is a good good one for that just a classic penguin pullover oh wait who doesn't love it um, next, so this is something, I really only pick this one up because it's new with tags. Um, I do not hate the brand Loft. I actually kind of enjoy selling Loft things because it's so easy to find, like, style names. Um, it's so easy to find if you need photos, if you need, like, um, descriptions, very easy. Uh, but this is a Loft size 6, just a red knit shift dress. And it has a really nice bow detail at the back, along with the back zipper. Uh, this one retailed for $90, $89.50. So, uh, but realistically, let's say I get $28 bucks for it. Um, I have sold a decent amount of loft pieces on like all the platforms. So I'm uh, pretty confident that this will sell, even though it is just a mall brand. Especially because it's new with tags. Um, I didn't want to leave it behind. Next up is another Chico's piece. So this is a size Chico's 2, which I think... I don't remember what it is it could be like a large or an extra large 10 to 12 something like that um, but it is this black and white cardigan it is like an open front let me see yeah open front long line cardigan uh, the reason I really picked this one up is because of just all of these um, detailing it's just got so much detailing in here and it's just in excellent condition this black and white so I was happy to pick this one up um, I think that it will sell pretty well I don't have a comp on here but what I'll probably do is list this one in the 35 to 32 range um, but could I get 25 bucks for it I think so I think for sure I think I would really hope for like 28 to 32 for sure so lovely piece um, this next one, this was one of my favorite pieces from, I remember that, Goodwill Bins haul. Even though it is a sweater, I don't care. I'm still picking up sweaters if I find them at the bins. Uh, Gap size small. This gorgeous, colorful knit sweater. And these lovely little, like, balloon sleeves. I love this so much. Um, this one actually looks like uh, one of those pieces from Gap that will sell for that $35 mark. So I was super, super happy to find this. Um, I think that I will probably list this 35 to 38. Um, and yeah. The next one in this bag, this is another J gel piece. I seem to be finding a lot of J gel recently. Uh, J gel size medium. I initially thought this was like a dress, like a sleeveless dress that's like smocked. Uh, but when I looked it up, it's actually a skirt. So it is a maxi skirt that has this lovely like smocked waist here. Um, it's got like this beautiful, I guess you could call it floral print. Um, I believe it is a maxi length. It could be a mini length if you're quite tall. Um, but I was very happy to find this. I love selling J gel. I think this is just like a classic um, kind of spring summer piece, but lovely. I think that I'll definitely list this one around the 28 to 32 mark um, and go from there. Okay, we were on the last bag. Uh, starting off, now I got this piece a while ago. It did have a stain on it. So something is telling me that I might have shown this in a previous haul, but maybe not. It has been like a long time since I have done a haul. Maybe I showed it in one of my other videos. I can't really remember, but this is a Matilda Jane skirt. So I normally always see Matilda Jane making kids clothing. They do make a lot of kids clothing, um, like little girls, like dresses and skirts and whatnot, but they do sell adults clothing. A lot of the adult clothing will have like a child's um, equivalent so you can like match not all of it but a lot of it is uh, but this is the adults version of a dress a dress a skirt 55% um, linen 45% cotton so I really loved the linen content in here 
but it is this beautiful kind of floral skirt that has a nice pocket on the side and it's also got these little like ruffle like pleats here pleat ruffles um and it's got a little like wiener dog print you see the little wiener dog prints running across um just like an elastic waist there's a lot of like fuzzies all over here that i'll have to lint roll out um but yeah and so this whole kind of center panel here is all linen the top piece feels like cotton um, this may be like a cotton and linen, um, but I was super happy to find this. Um, not positive what this piece would go for, but I feel like if I got like 28 to 32 for it, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. May list it somewhere like 35, um, but lovely skirt. I believe it's a midi length. It's definitely not a maxi length, uh, but all the Matilda Jane pieces also have this little patch somewhere on the outside as well, so you can easily identify them. Next up, this one's more of just um, one of those things that I find at the bins and I know it will sell for money, but I'm not necessarily expecting it to sell for much. Uh, Victoria's Secret Pink Classic Black Leggings, uh, size large, just a classic black high waist legging. They really feel like like good compression leggings um but these honestly looked absolutely brand new like they're still you know with like leggings when they're brand new you they're like creased and they're so flat and they're creased on the side so i saw that and i was like these look like they're brand new um obviously i won't list them as brand new like i'm not gonna say that they are brand new if i'm not positive but they really do look like brand new so i'll say that like appears like new um but yeah, classic Victoria's Secret leggings. Maybe maybe like 15 to 20 bucks for those. Um, they're not gonna garner like a crazy amount of money. Um, this one is kind of the same thing. This is a New Tags Express. Um, it's like a green like sweater top. It's kind of got this loose knit front, this open back here. Um, it is a size large retailed for $78. So super soft, actually feels like really good condition. Um, I have sold some Express pieces before. I just sold a dress from Express. I know that some of their sweaters can do well. Um, I'm hoping that this is one of them. I couldn't find this exact style um, in any of the comps, um, but I would say let's hope for 25. I think that would be like the low end of what I'm hoping for, especially since it retailed for $80. I think 25 is a good bet. All right, so this next one, this one's more of an experiment piece. I don't pick up blazers that often. Um, this is a Banana Republic size eight, kind of like this. And the camera is showing the color all wrong. It is like, um, wow, it like almost looks red on camera. Okay, it's like a hot pink. It's like maybe more like a fuchsia type, a little bit of purple in there. Got a little bit of dirt right there. Um, this hot pink double-breasted blazer. Um, excellent condition as well. This one, I saw one of this. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see the coloring now. Kind of like hot pink, fuchsia-ish -ish color. Um, this one, I did see one that was this exact style that was listed for $40. Realistically, I think I could get $25 to $35 for it. I know that's kind of a big range, but um, what I'll probably do, list it for like $35 to $38. Um, but then I'll obviously send out my offers of 10 20%. Um, yeah, we will see. Questionable, an experimental piece, but especially now that we're in the springtime, I feel like some people may be looking for a bit of a brighter color. Um, but this one is a Zara. This one's more of a style pickup, although I do really like selling Zara. Zara size large, just like a classic uh, gray, kind of like a heathered gray. It's got a little bit of like dimension in the coloring, if you can see. Pullover, but it has this really gorgeous floral um velvet as well velvet floral design on the sleeves lovely i really like stuff like this i think these just like classic pullovers do well i don't think i wrote down comps for this one i'll probably list this one for 28 um and send some offers out from there next up we have another mod cloth piece i love mod cloth I really do. Um, this one is an older style, so it's this tag. If you see this tag, this is an older mod cloth tag, but super pretty, green, flowy, 
bird print, like a novelty bird print skirt. It does have belt loops with it. So this one, um, even though it is an older style, I picked it up because I was very surprised by the comps for this one. So there were a couple of, just a couple of them listed. Um, so there were a couple of them listed. The highest one that I saw listed was $79. Um, although all of them were smalls and mediums, this is the only size large that I saw anywhere. Um, and then the comps ranged from 25 to 35. So I was pretty surprised by that for such an old piece. Um, but also the fact that I do have the only large available right now. Um, yeah. And the fact there was only like three or four of them listed and there was like I mean, probably 20, 30, even more of them sold. So I'm confident that this one will sell really well. Next up, another Madewell piece. I think I said this earlier. I am, you know, kind of on the fence. I don't pick up every Madewell that I find, um, but this one I really liked. I thought it was just a cute style. It's a Madewell size small, um, another shacket, but this one has got a really interesting um it's like got like a little like a confetti knit uh the knit is let me see if i can like find a part that has a bunch of it on it um yeah but i mean it's like a pink and it's got all the little speckles in here um i probably wouldn't get more than 20 bucks for this one but i really liked it i think it's a nice style especially great for like the transitional weather when people are wanting something light to throw on but not necessarily um like a jacket or like a big sweater so lovely little shacket there next um another piece that i was like another sweater but i did, could not leave this one behind um where is the tag here so this is a bowden extra large so this is like an open front i'm definitely not gonna be able to show this well on camera but an open front cardigan sweater so I probably would have left this one behind if it was 100% polyester, um, but it is 35% wool, 35% polyamide, and 30% alpaca. So the alpaca and the wool um, really are what is going to help sell this cardigan. Um, but yeah, so the comps for this one, I think I could probably get realistically about 35 for it. Um, yeah, it is a little bit, it does have a little bit of wear. I may have to do like a sweater shaver. It doesn't look like that pretty at all. It is really pretty. Like the front drapes down really nicely. So it's really pretty and it's super soft as well. So I will probably get like a good sweater shaver on here and get this one listed as soon as possible um, before it gets like too hot outside. Okay, so this next one is something that I was actually really happy to find. It's like a classic spring dress. Uh, the brand always, this brand always gets me. Um, J Glee, I really don't know. There it is. If you know what this is, please let me know. I feel like every time I see it, I keep saying it's J Glee, but some I don't know if it really is. I don't really know. Uh, this one obviously has a Goodwill tag on it. They wanted $11.50 for this piece. Um, yeah, so I found out the bins. Um, but it is a super, super pretty, very springy, sort of white and blue floral dress. So it's got a smocked waist here. Oops. So this one has a smocked waist. I believe it's a maxi length and it's also tiered as well. So these sort of tiered maxi length dresses are super popular. I've sold so many like tiered maxi length, whether skirts or dresses, I've sold so many of them. So I didn't have any comps for this one, but I feel like I could probably list this one for 25 to 28. Um, I will double check what brand this is, but I feel like that is a fair um amount for this one is also in excellent condition so i'm really happy to see this one all right next one this one is probably a questionable pickup but from the bins you know cost of goods is literally like a dollar or two so i'm not too too worried um this is a made well kind of like a thick uh cotton chambray let's see um button down it's like a short sleeve like button down um shirt um you know it's it's kind of one of those things that i think when i looked at the stock photo i think they called it like a camp shirt it had like a matching set or like a matching bottom with it as well um it is a size extra extra small so that's a little concerning <laughs> but um i you know i still picked it up it looks like it's an excellent oh my goodness what's happening here okay it looks like it's an excellent condition um besides yeah i think it's like kind of like this fold over as well so, you know, I went ahead and picked it up. Will it make 
probably maybe but i really would not expect more than that especially being an extra extra small i mean it is oversized but um yeah that's probably i would probably expect around 20 dollars for that one um this next one is something that i have sold before it's the athleta expedition shorts in a size four i feel like the other one that i sold was also a size four i'd have to check on that but it is these nylon um just nylon shorts you know classic um, you could use them for swimming, use them for running, use them for really anything. Um, these ones, I think, were going for 20 to 25 as well. I think the ones I had sold previously, I sold for like $18 because they had a stain for on them. Um, those ones are really in um, excellent condition. Next up, this is another American Eagle piece. I feel like I had two American Eagle pieces. I don't normally pick up American Eagle. Um, but if I see a piece that's like in really good condition, um, I will pick it up. Um, size large, another very similar style to that first one. Um, it is this cropped cable knit sweater. Might actually be, I don't think I got this at two, that one and the white one before. I definitely got it two different bins trips. So that's weird. I think the what, this one was a large and the other one was an extra, extra large, I think, but very oversized cable knit striped sweater same as the other one it is a very lightweight sweater so i don't feel like it would be too hot to wear this one you know a lot of the country it's still really uh cold right now but yeah just a classic cropped cable knit sweater excellent condition lovely this one okay so this is a brand i have sold a few times the brand is called chubby's uh, generally, they make a lot of men's shorts, men's swim shorts, that sort of thing. Uh, this one is a little bit of an older style, although it still did have some good comps. Just like a classic cotton short has a seven inch inseam. Um, and you know that because they very clearly display what the inseam is. And then they say that their style, this is just their original style in a size medium. Sky's out, thighs out, it says. Um, but this one, I have sold some swim shorts from them before. But this exact style uh, seemed to be selling for 20 to 25 I think that's because it is more of like a day short, like just a cotton. Um, some of the, the, they have a lot of like really um elaborately printed swim shorts those ones can sell for like 35 45 and even higher depending on the print but i was happy to find these i really like this brand i feel like every time i list something from here it does get a lot of attention so i was happy to find it um this next one this is just a boutique brand it's a hundred percent cotton uh the brand is called pieces and new it tags size medium just like this cotton dress i feel like this was just really pretty more of a style pickup uh these little like elbow length little puff sleeves um this looks like possibly a knee length dress yeah and the fact that it was new with tags i was happy to pick this one up just like a little extra and it's so lightweight i mean these 100 percent cotton dresses they weigh like nothing so honestly i probably paid like 40 cents for it uh, this next one, I could not remember for the life of me if I picked this one up from the bins or if it came in one of the thread up boxes. So I have it all like mixed in depending on like what stage it's in in like the inventory process. So I'm fairly positive I picked this up from the bins, but I'm like not sure. It could possibly have come in the thread up boxes, but I may just be going crazy. So uh, it's called Hidden Label, size is small. If I had seen this at the bins, I definitely would have picked it up which makes me think that I did pick it up from the bins. Who knows? Um, just a cute little mini dress. Um, it's got these sheer sleeves, elastic, a uh, little like, oh no, these are not elastic. These are just little like, little ruffled cuffs at the end. Yeah, just a classic mini dress. I feel like this would be super cute for somebody's graduation. What size is it? Size small? No, I think it's too small for me. I would have tried this on for my graduation, which is coming up in the next like two weeks or so. So yeah, I'll try it on and see if it fits me, but I don't think it will. <laughs> so, uh, classic mini dress. Um, that one, I'll probably list it for like 25 bucks. Um, yeah, I think that's a good amount for it. Uh, this is another one. Picked it up really based on style and fabric content. Um, brand is called Lauren Michelle. Not super special, nothing super special there. Uh, size extra large. It is a linen blend uh, cropped pant. Just like a classic... Um, really kind of springy summery pant. I really loved the pockets on this one. They're a little wrinkled, but 
um, the very original pockets with um, kind of like a crochet detailing here at the top. Um, yeah, especially with that linen content, um, I have sold so many linen shorts, especially around the spring and the summer. People love their linen. So yeah, nice flowy loose shorts, perfect for the summer. And the very last piece, no way, this is the very last piece. Okay, I was so excited when I found this one as well. It is another Bowden. See, here's the Bowden with the yellow dot, which makes me think maybe it is the yellow dot that is the newer style. Bowden yellow dot. Um, this is a US size six long, so 6L. It is this black and pink polka dot wrap dress. It is a midi, like a full wrap dress, totally open on the inside, and you wrap it all up. Uh, this one had super varying comps on here. So I saw uh, some of them sold for $28, some of them sold for $75. What I'll probably do with this one, um, because it is a size six, size long, it's a long size, um, it's a wrap dress, and um, it looks in like excellent condition as well. What I'll probably do is list it closer to that, um, maybe even like 80 bucks to hope to get to more of that $75 comp. But realistically, I feel like I could probably get 40 to $50 for it. Um, it is a really pretty, super great condition. It is quite a heavy dress, so it's got a good weight to it, but I was happy. I love the stuff like this. I think these little, like, little wrap dresses are super flattering, super popular. Um, but yes, and I think that is it. Yeah, that's everything. All right, we have made it to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any other questions or maybe even video suggestions, you can also leave them down in the comments below. Um, as always, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.